To show how the oscilloscope can be used to display two signals, I'll be using a common amplifier circuit. The input and the output of the amplifier will be monitored through the oscilloscope. Channel 1 of the oscilloscope will be used to monitor the input signal to the amplifier. The input signal comes from the function generator which outputs a 30 millivolts peak to peak 10 kHz signal. The output signal from the function generator as well as the probes from the oscilloscope's channel 1 are then connected to the input side of the amplifier like this. Channel 2 of the oscilloscope will be used to monitor the output signal of the amplifier. To monitor the output signal of the amplifier, simply connect the oscilloscope's channel 2 probes to the output side of the amplifier like this. After connecting the probes of the two channels to the amplifier circuit, press the auto button. There will be two sine waveforms shown on the display. The yellow waveform is from channel 1, which monitors the input signal to the amplifier. The purple waveform is from channel 2, which monitors the output signal of the amplifier. To display useful information about the two waveforms, set the coupling of both channels to AC before pressing the measure button. To display the peak-to-peak -peak voltage of both channels, press the button beside voltage. The source to display information is currently channel 1. Press the button beside type and select VPP. Then press the button beside add to display channel 1's peak-to-peak -peak voltage. To display channel 2's peak-to-peak -peak voltage information, press the button beside source to toggle to channel 2. Then press the button beside add to display channel 2's peak-to-peak -peak voltage. You can also display the frequency of both channels. Press the button beside return. and then press the button beside time. Press the button beside type to select frequency. Then press the button beside add to display the frequency of channel 1. You can also display the phase difference between the two waveforms. Press the button beside Return and then press the button beside Delay. Next, press the button beside Type to select Phase. Then press the button beside Add to display the phase difference of the two waveforms.